I know that this tip is going to sound nitpicky, but stay with me. There's a purpose. I was listening to a speaker the other day and he said the phrase, I resonate with that. Many people use this term resonate in this fashion and it's bugged me and I couldn't figure out why. I looked up the definition last week and sure enough, there it was. People have been using it improperly. People don't resonate with items. Thoughts or ideas resonate with people. If somebody says, oh, that idea, that resonates with me. Or that political view, that resonates with me. That's correct usage. People do not resonate with items. Again, it sounds nitpicky, but here's why you have to be careful when you're using phrases like this. If you misuse a word or a concept, some audience members are going to get stuck. I remember the speaker who said the phrase. I don't remember what he said after that because I went off on a tangent. More than ever today, we have to be careful about the words we use, the statistics we share. Uh, one of my favorites is that old concept that only 7% of communication is the words we use. Wrong. <laughs> Double and triple check all of the facts that you're sharing with folks and the way you use words. We all have them. I'm, I'm as guilty as anyone else. However, get feedback. Make sure that you're not confusing people. Don't let little items like this trip you up and cause people to miss out on the bigger message. In the next video, you'll hear about a couple of visual nitpicky items, which again can distract the audience.